a very warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. The teams then, Bayern Munich against Paris Saint-Germain. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Two starting lineups. A growing up ain't easy. Too many things to do. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not eating. I feel so empty, I'm receding. And all of my friends are misplaced. Been in circles several days. Never knowing the right way. we go then who do you Jim see making the difference here of course Sergio Ramos he's a real rock at the back Peter certainly never one to be beaten for strength nor pace what might prove more important in the long term are his leadership qualities and the way his presence at the back just seems to spread confidence throughout whatever team he's playing in as an added bonus, he's quite a threat from set pieces too, you know. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Steered out wide. Tries to get it forward quickly. Danilo Pereira. Draxler. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Kimpembe. Knocks it towards the front. Neymar tries a long pass towards the front. That's not going to make it. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Marco Verratti. Marquinhos. Draxler. Marquinhos. Draxler, Sergio Ramos, Messi, Mbappe, Messi, now it's Messi, Mbappe, Mbappe, and he's there to hoof it away, Mbappe decides to play it back, oh that is very close, yeah, and he knew he had to get his efforts away before being closed down, but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy. Hernandez. Tolisso. Gnabry.
There's the end of the first half. Reflections on the first half. Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Bayern Munich can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. And it's Mane. Sergio Ramos. Mbappe. Messi. Muller sticks in a foot to win it back. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Out to the left it goes. Muller. And out to safety. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Messi plotting from out on the right hand side. Goretzka. Gnabry. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences... Have... Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Marquinhos. Draxler. Marco Verratti. Sergio Ramos. And it's Messi. Goretzka gets it back. out it'll be a throw in again keeps everyone guessing aimed long and direct what a throw in Mbappe passes it through. Now, surely! Danger averted for now. Neymar is steaming forward. Now it's Neymar. He's gone for it! Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better, and any other time it would have sneaked in. Kimmich, Muller, Messi battles to win it back, there is the final whistle, well it looked nil-nil from a fair way out, little craft or guile or penetration, defences largely untroubled.